For as great as my statistics degree has been over the course of four years, if I could do it all over again, there's a few things that I would change and a few things I would do differently. And that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So the first thing that I would have done differently is I would have decided on this field a lot earlier on. So I spent the first like year and a half of college, I sw switched my major a ton. I went from nursing to MIS to math. And math is where I kind of finally felt at home and felt like I was doing something that I actually enjoyed. But those first couple of years, like, I was taking classes that didn't pertain to anything to statistics, and they didn't help me out in the long run at all. So I wasted like a year and a half of my time and $20,000 um, in something that I really wasn't interested in. So if I would have been able to do it all over again, I would have went right from the start into a data science, computer science, or statistics field, and I would have stuck with it for four years. Not only that would this have benefited me in school because I wouldn't be behind and have to catch up on all these classes, it would have also benefited me for job searching because I would have known what I wanted to do and known what I was looking for from the beginning. And that kind of leads me into my second regret as a statistics student, and that's not going to career fairs or trying to get internships earlier on. So I spent the first two years just kind of coasting through school. Um, I was still at a branch campus and studying other things other than statistics, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I had an idea that I wanted to be an actuary, but it was hard to get into actuarial science jobs um, without passing a couple of those exams. So I was just kind of waiting. But if I would have known I was going to end up in statistics and, you know, searching for data science roles, I would have been applying to jobs a lot earlier on. So as it stands, I didn't start applying to jobs till like my junior year of college, which Honestly, I would have probably started sophomore year if I had a better understanding of what I was going to do. Now, not only this, but going to career fairs is a great way to prepare for interviewing and kind of understand what employers are looking for. You can take that first copy of a resume, even with like no experience on it. You go up and you can talk to somebody and they can just say, look, we would, we're looking for somebody with a little bit more experience in this. That helps you out a lot because not only does it give you experience talking to interviewers, it also tells you exactly what you need to do to find a job in the future. So if I could do it all over again, I'd be going to every single career fair that I could and talking to as many companies as I could as well. Not only that, but if I could have put another internship on my resume, it would have made the job search that I'm going through right now a lot easier. So if you're in college, please, just please, no matter what field you're in, go to the career fair. Another big regret I would have as a statistics student is actually making this YouTube channel because I think it allows me to collect my thoughts in a way that I usually don't do and kind of reflect on my degree in a way that I've never done before. So if you're enjoying this video so far, just consider hitting that subscribe button. But anyways, as a statistics student, another thing that I would do is make a lot more self projects. What I mean by self projects is, you know, outside of class, you're applying the concepts that you've learned in class to your own projects that you can actually put on a resume. Now, when I talk to professors about some of the projects we do, I ask like, is this a good idea to put on a resume? Um, oftentimes the answer is no, unless it's like a final project where you have a lot of freedom to kind of go whatever way you want. A lot of the in-class projects are fairly guided, um, especially data science projects. They kind of give you an idea of what you need to do and they give you your data set and it's already cleaned for you. And in, in the real world, you really want to practice that on your own. So that's another thing I would do earlier on in my stats career if I had known, um, do a lot more projects on my own, find my own data sets and, you know, come to my own conclusions. And maybe put that all on like a GitHub page because you can link that in your resume and employers really like to see that. And also, if you do want to see um, kind of ideas for self projects, go ahead and let me know down in the comments because I've done a few and I would love to talk about them. Um, but finally, the last mistake that I made was I didn't really understand what the major I was in kind of entailed. Um, I knew what statistics was and I knew that I enjoyed it, but I didn't really know which route of statistics I wanted to go. So when I first started, I was in actuarial science statistics but now I'm in applied statistics. And if I would have known beforehand, you know, what went into actuarial science and that it really wasn't for me, I would have known right away to get into applied statistics or maybe computational statistics, which focus a lot more on computer science. Um, I think that just would have been a lot more helpful in my job search. Um, it would have been more helpful in scheduling classes. And I think there's a few classes that I probably would have switched around um, taken at a different time or not taken at all. So if you can take anything from this video, just try to figure out what you want to do early on because it'll help you so much in the future. It's honestly unbelievable. But anyways, if you're interested in a statistics degree, go ahead and check this video out next because I talk about exactly how hard my statistics degree was. Thanks for watching.